So there are basic operations of sets which we're going to discuss in this session. Just like the two numbers are added, then addition is the operation when they're subtracted, minus is the operation. When they're multiplied, multiplication is the operation. And when we divide, the division is the operation. Similarly, two sets are also with few basic operations. The three basic operations which we're going to discuss in case of our syllabus is union, This is of course for the sets and the next is intersection and the third is the difference. The fourth is the complement which is indirectly related to the difference. So the basic operations of sets are identified to be the union of sets, the intersection of sets and the difference of sets. To start with union of sets initially with so what is union of sets the word union means uniting the two sets I want to unite the two different classes I want to unite the grade 10 section a and grade 10 section B. So when I want to unite or make the union of class 10 section A and class 10 section B, then I call all the students of 10A and 10B, I put them together in one class. It's called union of 10A and 10B. Similarly, when I have two sets A and B, I take all the elements of set A and all the elements of set B then all the elements together of A and B, just like all the students together of section 10A and 10B, will form the union of the two sets A and B. The union of two class sections 10A and 10B. Similarly, the union of two sets A and B is how I understand the unity or the union of sets as compared to the real life situations. So let's start with the basic definition. union is the combination is the combining of sets that is indirectly when I say combining of sets I mean combining of all the elements of individual sets when I say I'm combining two classes indirectly I mean combining all the students of the class. Same way when I say I'm combining two sets indirectly means I'm combining all the elements of set A and set B say for example. So union is the combining of sets that is elements of the sets considered. Let's understand this more clearly, but before that, I am very particular about the notation. So how do we denote the union is the biggest question out here when it comes to the terms of notation. Union is denoted by by U. U stands for union and the symbol stands for union. That means A union B implies I can write mathematically as this which makes me understand that this U is directly related to union so therefore A union B implies A union B is how I understand the union notation so let's see with this with an example problem so when it comes to the example let me take a set A, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and my set B is 0, 1, minus 11, and 7. So for these two sets, I would like to take the union. Therefore, my A union B, which is denoted as union, is understood with combining all the elements of set A and set B. 
to start with I write all the elements of set A which are 1 3 5 7 9 and I write all the elements of set B if it is repeated I write only once because if the student is in both the sections doing the common course then I don't try to include him two times but he's included as one common student in the combined class similarly when two elements are repeated in both the sets I write as one common element therefore when I have one which is also there in this I repeat only once so already written I don't write it again then comes minus 11 similarly 7 also is repeated here so I do not write so the repeated elements are taken only as one only once therefore my combined elements of a and b is 1 3 5 7 9 and negative 11 therefore this is the union of two sets is how I understand the concept of union the union of two sets a and b is this with its respective definition now let's see the Venn diagrammatic representation of union how do I represent the union in a Venn diagram is also very important because when I understand the concept of sets I understand the sets both through the algebraic approach and also through the Venn diagrammatic approach so let's see the Venn diagrammatic approach of union of two sets now if I take the similar same example as I considered in the previous session of the set A and B and I found the union let's try to draw the Venn diagrammatic representation for this because the same example would stand as understanding of the Venn diagrammatic representation for the union of sets therefore when I take the set A and set B my union which I got through the algebraic approach is 1 3 5 7 9 and minus 11 which when I want to draw through the Venn diagrammatic representation I initially start with the universal set A and the set B now because there are some common elements between 1 and 7 I just take this in the form A and B with some part which is co-joined with this other set B now if I draw the sets A and B now comes what is A union B now because when we take two sets the combination of two sets is union therefore this entire region stands as union as I understand through the definition so this is union of two sets this is union of two sets is how I understand the union now what comes in site A and B so union of two sets is the shaded region here denoted with the shaded region this is a union B and the elements here are 1 3 5 7 9 and minus 11 but because 1 and 7 are common I have 1 and 7 in this common region because this is both in A and B 1 is in A and 1 is in B therefore when I draw this 1 is inside the circle A and 1 is also inside the circle B similarly 7 is inside the circle A and also in B so this is the region where we write the common elements that is the first rule in Venn diagrammatic representation the second rule in Venn diagrammatic representation so 1 is inside A and 7 is inside B equally both sharing next the remaining elements 3 5 9 are in set A therefore I write 3 5 9 in the set A and then the remaining elements 0 and minus 11 are written in set B this is how I understand the union in Venn diagrammatic representation with this being the universal set and this being the set A and set B with all the elements filled in the shaded region A union B so A union B in Venn diagrammatic representation is this and the algebraic representation is this